Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. And coming up tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, we're going to have a special guest meteorologist Dave Tolleris from Weather Risk to talk about the upcoming week ahead with the winter weather that's covering much of the U.S. And we've got snow squalls that are going through uh, much of uh, eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England right now. Uh, but again, Tonight, 7.35 p.m., the Joe and Joe Weather Show. So we've got an upper trough and an Arctic front that is approaching and moving through, and it's almost like a line of thunderstorms and showers that you get in the summertime. These, This is a narrow band. You can pick it out pretty well uh, on the uh, satellite loop. Uh, the This strip of bright white clouds uh, moving eastward, the higher cloud tops, so if you get into those snow squalls, uh, it could briefly snow hard and revert, reduce visibilities down to near zero. Here's the latest radar with all the purple boxes. Now, this is as of 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. So, obviously, if you're watching this later, uh, this will be mostly done. But the area is moving to from west to east. We're seeing some heavier squalls from all the way up into upstate New York uh, in the uh, northeastern part of the state, uh, right down the Hudson Valley through New Jersey into southeastern uh, Pennsylvania and even touching the northeastern corner of Maryland. They will move across southern New England, southern and central New England and Long Island as we move through the afternoon. Now, we've got uh, weather going on, uh, winter weather going on. That, uh, I want to uh, show you the watches and the warnings that are up uh, today uh, across the south. Uh, a fairly large area of winter storm warnings from east, southeastern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, across northern Louisiana, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, and in the extreme northwest corner of New Jersey. I'm sorry, of Georgia. Uh, you got Tennessee in a the whole state of Tennessee into southwestern Virginia under a winter storm warning. Winter weather advisories surrounding all that for uh, snow and ice in some cases. Uh, in the northeast, we still have some wind advisories up for uh, southeastern and southern New England, Long Island, New Jersey, back into Pennsylvania, the purple area as of midday. Uh, those are all snow squall warnings. And winter storm warnings continue in, uh, southwest, in western New York and also in north central New York with the lake effect, up to two feet of snow forecast there. Winter storm warnings in the Wasatch, winter storm warnings in west, the western half of Colorado. And in the areas in the plains, all the way down into the southern plains and east into the Ohio Valley and lower Great Lakes, we have wind chill advisories and wind chill warnings that are in effect there. Now, going forward this week, we've got a couple of snow events to look at. Uh, this is the probability of at least two inches uh, for uh, Tuesday, Monday night and Tuesday, northeastern Maryland, uh, northeastward up into southeastern New England. Uh, there's a 50 to 70 percent probability for at least two. And uh, we also want to take a look at the uh, probabilities, if this will let us, uh, for areas down south. If I can just get this map to move, which it suddenly has decided not to do that. There you go. So uh, this is the probability I'm just going to roll it back a little bit here so we can get a bigger time frame in place. Uh, this is the uh, probability also for at least two inches. And uh, you can see there's an 80 to 100 percent probability from northernmost, uh, northernmost Mississippi back into Arkansas, northeastward across Tennessee into the mountains of eastern Tennessee and southwestern Virginia, the southern edge of that line goes into northern Georgia uh, for the 5 to 10 percent. I tend to think this northern edge, I'm sorry, this southern edge will be a little bit further south uh, than, it, than is being indicated here. And uh, the longer range is in regards to a weather system that we're going to probably be dealing with Friday into Saturday. And for this, we have WPC's forecast for uh, a fairly large area in the northern mid-Atlantic up into New England of a 10 to 30 percent chance for at least a few inches. This is early in the game, obviously, but if they show it up in the long range, you know that they're really thinking about it. So uh, as we take a look at the very latest GFS model, so we get these snow squalls and you know, and, and the Arctic front goes through. Big cold high in western Canada that is coming down, spreading cold air all across the eastern and southern part of the United States, all through the plains, the Great Lakes, 
all the way down into South Texas. Uh, then the uh, low, there's a weak system here that is uh, developing snow in the Tennessee Valley northeastward. When we get into Monday, that kind of flattens a little bit. And then as a low develops off the southeast coast of the United States, it's going to push snow up the coast uh, from Virginia northeastward into southern New England. I would regard this as a minor event. Uh, we're talking about here uh, the possibility of made, maybe uh, as little as a coating to perhaps as much as a few inches with this. Then that goes out. We get another shot of cold air coming into the northeast and mid-Atlantic states for Wednesday and Thursday. And then we have an upper trough in eastern Canada that's going to be swinging around. A low is going to form and move across the Gulf Coast, spreading more snow into northern Alabama and north Georgia, uh, northeastward up into Pennsylvania, and just about reaching New Jersey and Long Island Friday morning. And this is where it gets dicey in terms of the forecast. We have to watch the models to see what they do with this coastal low. Uh, it is forecast to intensify as it moves to the northeast, at least according in the world of the GFS. And this indicates a more substantial snowfall potential here for the end of the week and into the weekend. And after that goes by, at least for the northeast the mid and the mid-Atlantic uh, and into the southeast, uh, this will be the coldest air mass of the season so far. Longer term, uh, after this system goes by, next week looks like we will go into a bit of a relaxation period as uh, temperatures warm up a bit. It looks like it will last for probably through the work week of next week, maybe a little bit beyond that, and then the pattern looks to revert to something else as we uh, head into next weekend. So we'll be keeping our eyes on that. We'll be talking about that in the long range, among everything, along with everything else that we've been talking about today on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast with, uh, again, meteorologist Dave Tolleris of Weather Risk will be joining us tonight at 7.35 p.m. So mark it down and we'll see you tonight.